This wonderful collection of early English clocks comprises just 16 timepieces, which the owner had lovingly assembled over a period of about 30 years. At the centre of the collection is an extraordinary group of seven clocks by Joseph and John Nibb, such as this very elegant eight-day walnut longcase clock with its slender trunk, early high-position door lock and 10-inch dial. Also by Joseph is an early ebony table timepiece of rare phase one type, which has a dial of stunning clarity with beautiful original blued steel hands and a movement with unusual tapered plates. There are also two rare lantern clocks. The tiny miniature example is by Joseph Nib with hour strike, alarm, and the original Verge escapement. The slightly larger timepiece with alarm is by his younger brother John from his workshops in Oxford. It also has the original Verge escapement, and importantly, it's illustrated in the Nib family clockmaker's book. Delving further into the collection is an ebony striking table clock by Thomas Tompion. This example is numbered 155 and it was made about 1689. The dial exhibits Tompion's new layout with strike silent and pendulum regulation rings. But right at this juncture, Tompion hadn't quite settled on how the case was to accommodate the two new little dials. So the front door still partially occludes them the collection also includes two very rare 30-hour hooded wall clocks, one with a beautiful walnut and marquetry case by Christopher Gould, and the other a rare example of a clock by William Kipling, which was made for the Ottoman market. The case has a rare cream lacquer decoration, and the clock dial is engraved with Turkish numerals. The movement, which has verge escapement and alarm, is so well preserved that it's like a little time capsule. Last, but by no means least, is a rare walnut and marquetry longcase clock by Richard Jarrett. It has a movement of month duration, which incorporates a rare one and a quarter seconds beating long pendulum, which was clearly made for the case, as the pendulum can be seen right at the bottom, swinging behind a glass lenticle, which would normally be positioned halfway down the trunk door. The sale catalogue for this wonderful collection is now available for viewing on my website. So please feel free to get in touch with me if you see anything in the catalogue that you think should belong in your own collection. Mm -hmm.